welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I am up in the shack and another little PMR radio review from Retivess. What we have this time, the model number is RT618, a tiny, tiny, very light, just 80 grams in the hand, little tiny PMR UK radio. Fully legal, of course, no license required to operate this radio works on the PMR446 frequencies. Has built in 16 pre-programmed channels and is half a watt in power. Now, every now and then, what you find with Retivest radios, they try and do something a little bit different to make each model just that little bit special, if you like. This model has a unique feature. When you transmit, can you see? The receiving radio lights up green, the transmit radio right lights up red, but that's really, really a bright LED. Let me just switch the lights down and do it again. And trust me, at night time, that would really light up a room. Even in daytime, if you've got one radio on the other side of the room, you can see if you've got a incoming signal. Another nice feature of that bright LED light is every now and then these radios will flash green when they're in standby mode, just to remind you that the radios are switched on. There you go, just that one flashed there. So just so you don't run the battery down when you're not using the radio. So this feature, I, I think you've probably maybe thought of a use for it yourself already if you're watching this video, but I'm thinking if maybe you're a carer and you have someone with mobility problems and you need to keep in contact with them throughout the day, this is perfect. You just have this on the on the side there. You can keep an eye on it. And as soon as they want to contact you, they transmit. This lights up really, really bright. It would be especially bright at night. I imagine if you had this at the side of your bed, it's possible that it's uh, even bright enough to wake you up. The radio itself, it's just a conventional, very compact PMR radio. It does have dual push TT buttons, one on the side and a big one on the front. Again, this is quite useful if, for example, you're going to give this radio to someone that maybe has a slight disability, uh, arthritis, something like that. They might have problems pushing in that button on the side. The one on the front, very easy to push. You could use both thumbs, so quite useful there. Going around the radio itself, straight out of the box, very easy to operate. The volume control I quite like. It's got a separate volume control on the top. There's no pressing one button to enter into a second function. Just like a little rocker switch there. One thing I will say is this radio goes exceptionally loud. Now I've got hearing issues myself. And on maximum power, maximum power on the volume, listen to how loud this is. Four, three, four, five. That's even loud. That's even a bit too loud for me, but a very, very easy volume control. On the side, the second push TT, push to talk button. Then you have a simple channel up and down button, 16 channels, of course. The top up button there, if you hold that down, it will go into a monitor function. This switches off all of the CTCSS into anti-interference codes, opens the channel wide, so you can see if the channel is free to use. Let me demonstrate. There you go, so that just breaks the squelch. You know the channel is clear. The second button, the channel down button, if you hold that in for two seconds, you get two bleeps. The radio is now completely locked. This is, this is now locked on channel five. I can't change the channel at all. Five, five, five. The only thing, the only thing that will now work is the push TT and the volume button. So yeah, quite useful if you're gonna give this to someone who's gonna maybe fiddle with it and get lost around the channels. Now, like many of these Retivest radios, there is a lot more functions that can be switched on and off on the radio, but to do that, you do need to go into PC software. It doesn't come provided with a programming cable. They are available on the Retivest website. Generally, they're quite cheap. They're four, five, six pounds, something like that. If you want to program the radio, you connect it to a computer. Once you download the software, there's a lots, lots more other functions that the radio has. For example, it has a timeout function, so you can uh, restrict the amount of transmit time to maintain the battery in case someone holds down the button too long. You can adjust the built-in squelch. By default, it's set at number five. That will be fine for local communications, but you can reduce that right down or even switch it off 
if you want to hear more distant stations. There's also a scanning feature that you can switch on. So the radio will scan the 16 channels. There's a power save feature, so the radio will switch itself off after a certain amount of time. A high-low power setting. Um, I, I don't know if you can turn this above half a watt. I think this may be reducing it down below that. Maximum power is legally set at half a watt. You can change the band if you want to. You can change this from wide, where it comes default, into narrow band. There is a Vox voice activated setting. That's probably more useful if you're going to use the uh, headset option. But again, the radio will transmit when you start talking and it will stop transmitting when you stop talking. There is a scrambler function. I'm not quite sure what that does. I think that's another type of encryption, but it does have a scrambler function. And then finally, we've got those anti-interference codes. Now by default, these radios straight out of the box are programmed with the same CTCSS and DCS codes. There's about 150 codes to choose from. The idea is that is if you were taking this to a busy area and someone was using the same PMR type radio, using the same codes as you, you might hear their transmission. Well, if you've got the programming software, unfortunately you do need that, you can change your code to a different code and then they can't hear your transmission, you can't hear their transmission. Overall, a very simple, easy radio to use. You don't have to program it via the software straight out of the box they'll work perfectly. Talking of the box, what we get in, in the box is a very nice printed clear instruction manual. Um, I do find this very, very good. So many products now aren't bothering with this. It's all online. Everything's there. All of the settings of the radio, it does go into those additional software parameters and settings I say you can do with the programming cable. Box itself, well, we do get a charge cable and it is a dual charge cable, which I always think is good if you've got a pair of radios. So that saves you on the USB ports. I charged these up, they took about an hour and 15 minutes to fully charge. Then we have the obligatory wrist lanyards, which I don't know anyone that uses those. And then finally, some belt clips. Now, these are quite nice. These are the metal variety, they're not plastic, and they're held on with a small screw. Gonna do some audio and a basic range test now. Not going for maximum range on these radios. I have explained before, these little PMR radios, especially the ones with the short antennas, that they're for local communication, short range communication. If you're lucky enough to live out in the open in, in the countryside and you've got fields, things like that, you can get a, a fair distance out of these. If you go up to high ground, you can get even further. But in the open, out in the countryside, one kilometer is possible with these little all about half watt radios. I live in a very condensed, built up modern housing estate. Um, I get nothing like that out of these radios. I have done testing before. Generally, I'll get probably between five and 600 meters before the audio starts right, breaking up. Testing part. So I've just gone about a couple of hundred meters, just put a few rows of houses between me and the other radio so dry in august here in the uk look at the state of the grass everything's gone all brown this is where i get some funny looks when i do this standing in the street right let's let's go back to the radio check the audio yeah audio check audio check one two on little reti radio. yeah audio check audio check one two on little reti radio now audio one two one two audio 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 there we go Right, let's get back to the shack and uh, see what this little radio sounds like. I'm not surprised that audio was so loud and clear. Surprisingly loud for such a small little radio. So I think that's about it for these RT618. It's very basic, easy to use radio, simple functions. Do like this ring of LEDs here that light up when you transmit. And also, I find it quite reassuring that they're flashing to let you know they're on standby. If I was caring for someone, for example, um, just I'd know that the radio was working. When the batteries do wear down, there is an audio, uh, audio uh, warning system in place. It will speak to you, tell you that it, to recharge the batteries. I haven't tested the uh, standby time, but I imagine it would last pretty much all day, I would have thought. So yeah, that's about it. I'll leave a link to Retives in the uh, description. As always, I'm not on any commission. I don't get any kickback or anything like that. I don't work for Retives. It's a freebie. They send them in. I review them as uh, honestly as 
I can. So I think that's about it from Freddy in the Shed. There's the thumbs up from me. Please give me the thumbs up back if you've enjoyed the video, if it's been useful to you. I've got loads of other equipment, CB, radio, shortwave stuff coming in over the next few weeks into the shack. I've also got another set of these RetiVest radios to review. So plenty of stuff coming in. So stay tuned. Maybe consider me a sub. I really would appreciate that. But anyway, that's it for now. Please, please, please look after yourselves. Stay safe, guys and girls. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, yeah.